Hi guys, so in this video I'm going to be showing you how to make a magic circle or a magic ring. I use this a lot for all of my crochet projects, so I thought that I would make a separate video going very slowly and into details on how to make a magic circle. To learn how to make a magic circle, you have to first understand what it is. Magic circle is essentially an unfinished slip knot. So I'm going to first show you how to make a slip knot. This is also something that I use a lot for all of my projects and it's basically the basis of any crochet project. So essentially to make a slip knot, I'm going to lay it out like this to show you. So this is your yarn, right? This is the tail end of it. This is the end that is connected to your working ball of yarn. So what you do is you make a circle. Bring this yarn that's attached to your working ball of yarn over on top of the tail right here right and then you go into the circle you put your hook into the circle and then you grab this end and then you bring it into your circle and then now i'm gonna put my yarn under that strand that i just brought into the circle and then just put that one onto my yarn and pick up my work now if i hold on to these two tails and pull on my hook you can see that it ties it together and this is a slip knot to make it smaller you have to pull on the end that's attached to your working ball of yarn so i hold on to this tail with my hook so that it's nice and secure and then i just pull on this strand that's attached to my working ball of yarn and that's how you tighten you can see after you do that the knot here kind of gets loosened so hold it at the bottom right here and then pull on your hook and then you can see that the slip knot kind of closes itself so that was a visual representation of what a slip knot actually is but to now show you how to make it quicker so basically grab this tail end on your yarn and then hold it with your thumb and your middle finger the placement of your fingers and what fingers are holding what are very important when it comes to magic circles and slip knots so have your thumb hold on to the tail end with on your middle finger and then take your working yarn and then wrap it around your pointer finger once and then bring it over cross it like this and then hold on to this tail end with your pinky like this so now we're gonna go under that first strand of yarn so what i just did was put my hook under that first strand of yarn and now we want to grab this second strand right here this second strand is the one that's connected that's your pinky is holding that's connected to your working ball of yarn so put your hook under this strand so that it grabs onto it and then twist it so that it doesn't let go of it and then pull up a loop like that and now you can pull this off of your fingers and then pull it tight again and this is what a slip knot is this is how I like to make my slip knots. There is a whole bunch of other ways to do it, but this is the way that I found the easiest and the one that I'm most comfortable with. So now just to show you what I meant by saying that a magic circle is just an unfinished slip knot, I'm going to go back to the demonstration that I did at the very beginning. So I'm going to make so I'm going to arrange this yarn as if I was going to make the slip knot and then I'm going to put my hook under here, grab this so now if I were to pull on this loop that I just pulled up with my hook, that would turn it into a slip knot, right? So instead, what I'm going to do is this is the tail that's attached to my working ball of yarn. I'm going to bring this over and then I'm going to chain one. And this is how, like, this is essentially what a magic circle is. I thought it's kind of confusing, but it was just to, like, show you as a demonstration. So now I'm going to show you how I like to make my magic circles. So again, the placement of your fingers is very important. So this time I'm going to hold my tail end with my thumb and my ring finger just because I want my magic circle to be a little bit bigger and then I'm gonna wrap my yarn around my pointer and my middle finger wrap it once make the x and then have your pinky hold the rest of this tail and then again you're gonna go under that first strand you're gonna twist your hook so that the little hook end is facing downwards you're gonna grab this second strand right here 
and then you want to twist it so that you don't let go of that loop you just pulled up and then now this is kind of the tricky part so this is the tail that's attached to your working ball of yarn right so you want to put your hook under that strand that you're holding twist your hook so that you grab onto that tail or onto that yarn and then pull it through that loop you just made you can just remove the magic circle from your fingers and this is a magic circle you want the tail end of your magic circle to always be on your left side and you work anti-clockwise into the magic circle so now i'm going to show you how to put stitches into the magic circle so a lot of the projects will specify what kind of stitch you need to put in the magic circle but if your project just works with single crochets then most likely they're going to ask you to put single crochets into the magic circle to do that you want to grab your magic circle kind of like this i like to hold it with my thumb and my middle finger and kind of pull on it so i have a little bit of space to work with and also this helps me with my tension and then I like to hold on to the loop that's already on my hook with my thumb just to make sure that my stitches don't go loose. I put my hook right down into the middle of that circle and then I make sure that the tail strand right here and then this strand from the circle is over my hook. So again, just to show you, hold on to your magic circle like this, hold on to the loop on your hook like that into the circle under that two strands now grab the yarn that you're holding with your pointer finger and then pull it up into that circle now you have two loops on your hook so you're gonna yarn over and then pull through the two loops together and that is one single crochet so again just to show you hold on to the loop on your hook with your thumb go into the circle make sure you're going under these two strands grab your yarn Pull it into the circle so you have two loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through two. This is essentially what a magic circle is. I know it's a little bit daunting, but with practice, you're gonna get better and better at it each time. I taught my friend how to crochet just so that I can see what mistakes beginners make when it comes to this. And one of the main mistakes that my friend made was her tension, which that can only be fixed over time and as you practice more and more. So don't worry if your magic circle is a little bit loose right now. When you try it again and again, kind of adjust your tension, your magic circles will start to get better and better. And then another issue that I saw she was having is her magic circle kept on twisting and then she would still continue to work on it like that so like i mentioned you always want this tail end right here to be on your left side and you always want your stitches to be on your right side and then you're always working in a counterclockwise or an anti-clockwise motion once you put enough stitches onto your magic circle just go ahead and grab this tail and then hold on to this last stitch that you made with your thumb and your pointer finger and then just pull on this tail and then you'll see that your magic circle tightens so yeah that was it for today's tutorial since i use a magic circle a lot in all of my tutorials i thought that it would be best if i just dedicated an entire separate video to it so that i can go slowly and in details and teach you how to do it so that you can refer back to it anytime that you'd like if you guys enjoyed this tutorial make sure to give it a thumbs up and check out my other tutorials i have a lot more coming so make sure that you subscribe so you don't miss all of it and i'll see you guys next time bye